Right, so I've been having the usual BSA twin problem with gear selection. Um, this is fine as it is, this will select all the gears. Um, I've done the usual messing around with the spring, bending that in different shapes, trying to get it to centralise properly. Um, hasn't really made a difference um, and because it's a little bit of an intermittent fault it's um, not doing it all the while which is a bit of a pain sometimes it'll be first and second can't get third fourth other times you can get third fourth not first and second neutral has been a bit cagey as well um, yeah so everything seems okay in the actual gearbox I haven't actually taken this apart by it's, you can just select the gears very easily. Um, I've also just been polishing this up, uh, checking for birds, anything like that. It all seems fine. There's no real scoring in there. It's quite good condition on there. Um, so I thought I would take the uh, take the plungers out. And give them a little polish up maybe just straighten the edges a bit um, make sure they're sliding okay and uh, look what I found half a spring half a spring in there which you probably can't see but down there there's the other half of that that one's fine so I'm wondering now what's been happening is that's been jamming that spring broken spring has been jamming up and not letting that come back out so i've got a couple of springs on order um i will just give these a quick polish up as well while i'm about it um but yeah hopefully that would have sorted it Uh, they got um, replacement springs for the plungers and also a new re uh, return spring and uh, interesting thing about this this is a new old stock one so all looks quite parallel and everything on there if you look at it this side and one tang of that spring is straight and the other goes across at an angle so the only thing I need to do now is work out uh, exactly which way round that should go because uh, the pattern one I had uh, I don't think I had that crossover or if it did it was crossed over equally um, Unfortunately, I'm still bent around now because I've been trying to uh, get it to select. That, uh, it's hard to tell exactly what it was like, but it definitely wasn't like that. So that could be another little pointer to the uh, to the problems. I don't really know until I get it all back together. So these have got to go back in with the plungers, get that reassembled. Um, Yeah, so that can go back in there, and uh, could actually give it a temporary kind of try to see um, see how it works without the without the cover on. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Get that together, and then just give that and see if it does actually feel any better. It's difficult to tell until you actually uh, ride it, but. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So, that's the springs back in. And, uh, definitely, definitely a bit more pressure on them. Um, yeah, so hopefully that will make a bit of a difference. Um, yeah, I'll just drop a bit of oil down there just to give them a bit of lubrication. And, uh, 
refit it and give it a go. That's neutral, so that should be first. Back up for neutral, it's a little bit difficult because I ain't got the spring on here. So that should be neutral again. So that's a bit easy to go too far. There's also a false neutral here, I get sometimes between third and fourth, which I think that might have been it actually because that should be top there. That's that false neutral. So just let me get a little gentle there. So that should be third. Again. That should be second. Well, that's gone straight into first, I think. I'll probably have to put the spring on there and see. Um, what happened but it was changing up and down a minute ago quite nicely without even moving the wheel it's about getting this to sit centrally to return which is what the spring does um, This it's got a bit of float in it, so I don't know whether I might even see if I can shim that back so I can get all this float. Let's just see if I press that. Yeah, actually, do get a much better change with some thrust that way. on the cam plate but, um, yeah that's definitely better than it was I'll put the strip spring on there and just see if that makes any difference all right so I just put the spring on with the flat tang uppermost so it's sort of towards the back and the one that crosses over is on the front side like that. Um, so let's see, are we? Right. So that is probably first, I reckon. Or was it? Why well, we skip neutral? Oh no, that's neutral. So that's neutral. First. jump neutral neutral is quite hard to find on here so that must be second and we've got the same problem where that doesn't want to seem to go uh, gone there I guess that's third same kind of I'm not sure if that's third or fourth <laughs> really it, it won't go in, up anymore it won't select up anymore so let's go down again so assuming that's fourth 
that's the false neutral then no that's not there's nothing more there let's get that a push no it doesn't still got the same Most of the time we don't even know what gear it is in. It does seem to help with a bit of pressure that way though. Oh. Yeah, definitely. I think that's what I need to do next. that way yeah let's have a little look at that see if I can get some sort of shim behind there right I just before I took this all off again swapped the spring round so I now have the flat tang towards the front and the crossover on the top here and it does seem actually to be much better that's first neutral second third fourth <laughs> so I think that's definitely the way the spring goes and like I say, I might just put a little bit of a shim on that because it does actually seem to make that much smoother with a bit of pressure. Yeah, that's definitely better anyway. Right, um, so I've got some shims. Is a 19 mil internal diameter. I uh, got some one mil and some one and a half mil, which will fit on there. Uh, I think I did calculate I need about half a mil, but because I've got this, um, rather than keep using paper gaskets, <laughs> just in case I have to take it all to bits again, uh, I've got a nitrile rubber gasket which unfortunately is a little bit thicker uh, I think it's about one mil thick um, that is uh, just now it's 1.6 thick so um, I'm probably gonna have to use slightly more shims than I intended to uh, so if I go I try one and a half. It's just one mil and a half mil on there. I'll try that to start with. Because uh, I want to do is just push that back a little bit. I'll keep the tension that way on it, um, just to see if that will improve the gear selection. Because it did seem to help when I was pressing against it. Um, yeah, so we'll get all that together. Uh, then I'll have to refill the oil, put everything back on, test ride it, and uh, hopefully <laughs> that will um, will have cured the problem. But we shall see. Right, there we are, all back together. Uh, I even did a little bit of adjustment on the Kickstarter so that doesn't flop over quite so far. I welded up the original stop and then uh, re-drilled one further around so it didn't go right back that was burning out somewhere there got a little burn mark yeah that was just um, touching the pipe so that should be okay and uh, yeah what was I saying about the tank <laughs> how on earth how on earth do you get a pinhole there 
I mean, I have just pressed that in. That was a proper bubble a minute ago. So it's a good job I didn't um, respray the whole thing because it looks like at some time I'm going to have to redo it. Um, I think I'll just run it for a little while, see if anything else appears. But it does look like I'm going to have to fill another little bit there. But uh, yeah, shouldn't be a hole there, should there? <laughs> Ridiculous. You can understand on one of the seams or, or like here where the other one was, but there? <laughs> crazy, crazy. That, uh, yeah, I've just been up and down the gears around the garden, so should be okay. Um, I'll have to take it out for a proper run for too long, but um, yeah, I think that'll do me for today. So I think next BSA uh, A50 Wasp video will probably be a little little run out on it somewhere, just a little ride around the lanes or something. Uh, yeah.